Monitoring a Kubernetes cluster is very important to make sure our application is up and running as we expect. Both worker nodes and pods will expose some standard metrics related to CPU memory network utilization, and then using some tools like Prometheus or Datadog, we can collect those metrics, expose them in a nice dashboard, and we can also create alerts based on those uh, uh, metrics. In today's demo, I'll walk you through how we can configure our applications to expose some custom metrics on slash metrics, for example, and then we configure Datadog to collect those metrics. Let's see how we can collect metrics from our applications running inside Kubernetes using Datadog. When we install Datadog into the Kubernetes cluster, that will install an agent, a Datadog agent, inside each worker node. This agent will be set by default to collect the default metrics from my different pods, from the host itself, and then it will go to send those metrics into the Datadog backend. So that could be datadoghq.com, for example, if you are using that past service, or that could be um, an on-premise Datadog install. So from there, those metrics will be uh, sent into the backend, and then they will be sent into the uh, database here. Then using the Datadog dashboard, we can view those metrics in a nice chart to get the state of my cluster. But now what we want to do is that in addition to those default metrics that are exposed by the pods, the worker nodes like the CPU, memory utilization, network utilization, um, disk, and so on, we want to get specific metrics from our application. Maybe I have a Python application, .NET, or Java, or Go application, and those apps, they will expose their own specific metrics. So using libraries like the uh, Prometheus specific libraries or also the Datadog uh, specific libraries or packages that we can install inside our applications, we can expose some custom metrics or let's say application specific metrics from our app. So we can expose those on slash metrics, for example, and then we can configure Datadog to go to collect metrics from that endpoint. So here we can add another link from that agent to go get metrics from there and get metrics from those different uh, endpoints. End those metrics then will be again uh, sent into the uh, database, uh, Datadog database, and they will be saved there. And then we can view those custom metrics from the Datadog dashboard. So those packages, they will expose the application default metrics, okay? But we have actually another um, another possibility, which is to create our own custom metrics. Let's say, for example, I want to track how many times my users have clicked on the add to basket button or the buy button. So this could be achieved using those custom metrics. So using different libraries, I can create those metrics and then I can also forward those uh, metrics into the uh, Datadog to be able to view those custom metrics also from the dashboard. Follow me next to show you a demo on how to implement this into Kubernetes. In this demo, we'll be collecting metrics from a .NET, sample .NET Core application where we have its source code here, and then we need to use some YAML deployment files and some commands that are detailed here. So find in this GitHub repositories or the uh, files that we need in this demo. I have already downloaded this file into my local machine and using VS Code here I can see the commands.sh file where here I have the commands that I'll be using. So first we want to start with installing Datadog into the Kubernetes cluster. For that we have three main options. One of them is using the raw native YAML manifest files, those will create the daemon sets and all the objects needed for Datadog. The second option would be to use the Kubernetes operator. The third option is to use Helm charts, which I'll be using in this demo. So for that Helm chart, we need first to add the Helm uh, repository for Datadog, and then 
we will go to install that uh, chart using the helm install command and here we need to pass them par parameters so first of all let's take care of this api key here so i have here created an environment variable for api key and you can get that key from the that uh, from the datadog dashboard where you have your dashboard and your settings you will be able to view that api key uh, available into here so paste that value into here and then we'll go to run those two commands in order to add the, uh, the helm chart and then configure some uh, variables within that chart. So first value here is the instance where I want to send the data. So in this case, I'll be using the SAS um, uh, uh, product for Datadog. So I send this into Datadog uh, um, uh, SAS uh, uh, solution. If you have an on-premise, then you would set this to your on-premise uh, uh, URL. And then I'll set here APM enabled application platform monitoring. I want to enable this to be able to collect the metrics from the Datadog agents. And then a name for my uh, helm. I'll go to run these two commands from the command line. I need a Kubernetes cluster for this demo. I can use either Minikube or here I have chosen to use Azure Kubernetes Service AKS. I have already connected. So from now, if I go to run kube control get nodes, I'll get here my three nodes and my cluster. I'll go to run the first one that will add the Datadog Helm chart into my local repository. Then I'll go to uh, install Helm into Kubernetes. And here tells me, yes, the uh, deployment was successful. And here I can see the events from this URL. So I'll copy this. And here I can see that there is three Datadog agents that have started. Three because I have in my Kubernetes cluster, I have three VMs. And Datadog will install an agent on each VM. That's through the daemon set. So here I can see uh, some data uh, collected and sent into uh, Datadog. So just by installing Datadog into my Kubernetes cluster, from here I can start seeing some metrics that will be collected. So if I go here to the dashboard section, where here I have dashboards, dashboard list, we have here a few dashboards available by default. And here if I go to select Docker, I see the Docker containers installed in my Kubernetes uh, cluster, those including the Datadog agents and some other uh, containers running inside my cluster. And I start seeing the CPU, memory usage, and so on. So those are the basic metrics coming from my containers related to CPU, memory usage, network, uh, disk usage, and so on. But here I want to add more specific um, metrics coming from my application. In my app here, I'm actually using .NET Core application and I know in that app I could have some other metrics specific to exactly my application. So into here, what I have done is that I have integrated Prometheus metrics into my application. So in this case, I'm using .NET Core uh, sample application, but this is also applicable for other uh, project types. And here, if we go to this URL here for Prometheus, we'll see the different programming languages and frameworks supported by uh, Prometheus. And in this case, I'm using the one related to uh, .NET, which have this GitHub repository. And from here, it show me how to integrate this uh, uh, metrics in my application. So I have gone through that uh, uh, getting started. And mainly what I have done with that is that in the startup.cs, I'm using this Prometheus NuGet package. And then I'm configuring that package. I'm enabling that package to collect metrics and then expose those metrics on slash uh, uh, metrics. That is an endpoint within my application. Now I'll go to deploy this application. So for that, I have this YAML deployment uh, file that describes my application. Uh, here we'll be back for this uh, annotation, for this commented annotations later. But for now, this will take the image from this uh, um, uh, ACR. Make sure to update it with your own ACR. Here I have already built this image and pushed it into ACR using this Docker file. And then I expose my application through a public uh, service that is using load balancer.
So I'll switch to the command line and from here I'll go to cube control apply dash f then my uh, application which is the one here the app deployment.yaml once the app is deployed i'll go now to check for the different uh, pods to make sure it is running and yes i can see here my uh, application is actually running this one three instances and you can see also the datadog agents that i have deployed before and now if i go to check the uh, services running in my cluster i'll find one related to my front end application which have this public ip address so i'll grab this address and then i'll go to check for that on my browser and here yeah i can see my application is running here and because they have um because i have exposed that endpoint for metrics so from here if i go to slash metrics i'll find those dot net or specific metrics available from this endpoint. So here you can see, for example, uh, .NET total memory bytes, process working bytes. So those are specific to .NET and I have enabled those through the um, Prometheus NuGet packages. We have, we could have do the same thing using open tracing libraries available by uh, Datadog also. So now I want to get those metrics into the Datadog dashboard. By default, this is not enabled, so it's up to me to do this actually. So I'll go to uh, configure this from my uh, Datadog uh, configuration. So mainly we have actually, let's say, um, four options. One of them is running, is uh, deploying that configuration into the etcd. But here in the case of a managed cluster, we don't have access to uh, the etcd. So uh, that is not valid in, in the case of AKS, for example. Then another option is using config uh, config map. So we write this configuration into that config map and then that will be loaded and discovered by uh, Datadog. The third option is using annotations and that's, that's actually the recommended and the easiest option. So with that, with this annotation that states here, mainly uh, this section here, we give a name to that uh, uh, discovery and then we we'll, can initialize some configuration, but mainly the important section is this one, where here we provide the Prometheus URL. So here I'm providing the Prometheus service name. Otherwise, I, uh, I could also use the percentage percentage host, percentage percentage, and then Datadog will resolve that for my for the IP address of my pod. Then the slash metrics where I am um, exposing my metrics front-end service, this is actually the service name for my uh, pod, which is this one right here. Great, then I'll provide a namespace. So uh, all my metrics in Datadog will be, uh, will start with this namespace name. Then from here, I can expose some specific metrics like I do here. So I'll take that .NET total memory bytes and I'll rename it to this name. Uh, and so here I'm doing naming mapping for Datadog. I could also expose all the metrics, okay? So this is the third option that is, as I said, this is the recommended and it's good to uh, to uh, do this option. But here I'll do another option specific for my case here where I'll be writing to the datadog values.yaml. So this is the file that, uh, that overrides the Helm chart values. So from here, I want to override the conf d where here the conf.d is the file inside the Datadog agent that uh, in which we, we, we want to uh, write those uh, configuration. So this will create an openmetrics.yaml uh, file. And into that we'll have this section. So the different instances, we want to track the Prometheus URL. And here again, I'm providing the service name for my application with the endpoint exposed for collecting metrics. Then I'm providing a namespace, in my case, my .NET app. And then here I'm saying start to say, hey, collect all the metrics exposed on this endpoint. I can also filter on some specific metrics by their uh, start name and name uh, and so on. I can also, um, so this is the case for one application. If I have multiple applications, I could have add another configuration to collect uh, metrics from that uh, another application. And here I put this section in commands for you to, uh, to be able to integrate it if you want. 
Great, so now let's go to update our Helm chart for Datadog in order to take into consideration this, um, this uh, uh, new config. So for that, I'll switch back to the command line, go to clear this, and then I'll go to run the command Helm upgrade. And here, I'll go to specify the datadog values.yaml that we were seeing before. I'll pass again the uh, API keys and so on. Great, now it's installed. Let's check if we have those pods running. And here, I wanna, make, uh, I wanna show you that here, actually new pods uh, will be uh, created because we are here uh, restarting, we are resetting the configuration for datadog. And then within a few seconds, we can see here the new pods are created. So this is the drawback of using the YAML uh, configuration file for uh, Helm chart that we'll need to restart the, um, the Datadog agents. But if you use the data annotations that won't need to restart your uh, charts because that's using auto discovery uh, enabled by default into the agent so it will actually auto discover your new services thanks to that uh, uh, configuration that we have seen into the yaml file this one great so now we should be able to see those new metrics available on datadog so here i'll go to metrics explorer Great, so now we should see our metrics into Datadog dashboard. So I'll go to metrics summary, where here I can see all the metrics from coming from my application. And here I look for my .NET Core app. And here you see the metrics coming from my application, coming from that my .NET app uh, uh, namespace. So now all of those metrics on slash metrics are exposed into here. But uh, let's see here, we have one custom metric that doesn't come by default in .NET Core. This is called my custom counter. Actually, I have created this metric as a custom metric into my application. So in addition to those standard provided metrics, uh, those are provided by default when you install that uh, Prometheus uh, NuGet package. But here in my app, actually, I have added, I have created that custom metric. So when I go to the controllers, let's go to the home controller. Here I'm using that Prometheus NuGet package. And here I have created a metric of type counter. So this is going to count the number of views for my index page. For that here, I am incrementing that uh, counter. And it have the same name, my custom counter, as displayed into the dashboard here. So that way we can create those custom metrics. We can imagine some other scenarios like counting the number of uh, a click on a button or the number of users for certain features and so on. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.